Hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing for you all from Diamond Art Club and this was actually initially supposed to be a sneak peek but there were some delays in shipping and then I was out of town for a few days so I suppose we could call this a first look. You may have seen some other people unbox it already but um, this was sent to me by the fabulous folks over at Simon Art Club as a sneak peek so we'll get into it now. Um, hopefully I can share some helpful info with you guys but let's go ahead and get into it. The name of this kit is Ariel Angel. This is from the artist Sarah Richter, and it's a square drill diamond painting kit, 70 by 88 centimeters. It is heavy, like just holding it like that there was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's heavy. This is a, a hefty kit. So let's go ahead and get into it. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing really well. I am excited to be home and be getting back into all of these amazing diamond paint kits that were waiting for me. <laughs> so here on the box, we have this little note here that lets us know that yes, this is a square drill diamond painting kit. There's info on the back about how to diamond paint if that is, if you're new to diamond painting and that would be helpful for you. I'm also always one to recommend. Uh, check out some YouTube videos, my fellow visual learners. Yeah, that is heavy. Okay, let's shift this. Sorry to bump you there. So in your kit, you're gonna have absolutely everything that you need to do your diamond painting. Where did that sticker go? Over there, okay, I get stuck. Okay, so uh, first off, you're gonna have a basic toolkit. Just to quickly show you what all is in here, we have all the basic tools you need. <laughs> it's, if I can get them out without making a huge mess. All right, so you're gonna get a set of plastic baggies you can use this to store your leftover diamonds in if you like or to work out of baggies when you're actually working on the kit if you like and then you're going to have a basic pen tray squishy and a plastic thin multi-placer you're also going to get a couple of plates of this pink heart wax i do really like the quality on this wax and then if if you're getting a square diamond painting kit from a diamond art club you're also going to get a pair of pointy tweezers keep that cover on because they are quite sharp now i i have seen a lot of people talking about and asking um how can i know if my kit is going to come with one of the newer toolkits um so what i just showed you it has been diamond art club standard basic toolkit for quite some time a couple of months ago they uh did some upgrades and changes to their toolkits and they're gradually rolling that out that is going to be a bit of a transition and there's not really a hard and fast way to know if the kit that you are ordering is going to come with the toolkit that i just showed you or the newer versions of the toolkits. Um, the best suggestion that I have come up with is just to take a look at sneak peek videos like this one and that may give you an idea of whether to expect that your kit is going to come with a new toolkit or not. Um, but please be patient as like I said it's going to be a transition, it's going to be a gradual rollout um, and I'm sure that we'll be getting those and lots of our kits in due time. Included also in your diamond painting kit is there's this little sticker. It did start to get stuck on the side of the package there, but um, I use this in my paper log book. Some people like to put this on the side of the box so that they can help kind of organize their stash or whatever, uh, but it has all the info about the painting itself. Let's get into the rest of the goodies here. So the canvas and diamonds and whatnot are all in this plastic dust cover just to keep, keep it that much more protected. That's gonna be the bottom. That is heavy. This is a bigger painting. <laughs> for sure. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous she is. Let's flip her sideways. All right, so we'll set the diamonds to the side. That is a big heavy bag of diamonds. <laughs> and let's take a look at what else came with this kit. So we do have a step-by-step -step instructions booklet that will give you some tips on how to diamond paint. There's also a discount code in here and there's a discount code on the 
bottom of your canvas down there. There's usually one on your packing slip. There's one in the VIP group. You guys, there are discount codes absolutely everywhere. Um, if you are new to Diamond Art Club and want to save 20% off your first purchase, I do have an affiliate code that you're welcome to use. Um, it's just my name, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Um, and that will save you 20% off your first purchase. But of course, in the interest of full disclosure, I want you to know that I may make a small commission if you use that. Please, 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 don't feel obligated. <laughs> whatsoever. There's lots of fabulous affiliates out there. Um, the only thing that I say is just don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. Use some sort of discount code because they don't want you to pay full price. <laughs> Here is a sticker sheet that has a spot for you to write your start and end date, all the information about the kit itself, and then these pre-cut sticker sheets. I use this when I'm kitting up my project into storage containers. Um, and this makes that process go super, super quickly. Uh, the color code, these are all DMC color codes. And the exception though would be any numbers under 150 in Diamond Art Club's numbering system are going to be AB drills. If you're not sure what I mean when I say that, hold, hang tight. We'll talk about it more when we look at the diamonds. I wanna take just a really brief look at the symbols that we're working with and see if any jump out at me as ones that we want to make sure don't look too similar on the canvas. There's some that look like they might be a little similar, so we'll take a closer look at the canvas here in just a bit and make sure. Now, let me show you some of the different kind of elements of the canvas. <laughs> it's a little unwieldy because it is a bit large. Okay, so here is Diamond Art Club's branding here at the top too. What makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about fraying. And the canvas material, it's kind of soft on the back, but it's a thick and sturdy material. It's gonna lay flat really nicely and hold drills really well. Diamond Art Club does use poured glue on their canvases. It's a springy, like thick poured glue that is really sticky and usually works really, really well. I love the, the glue that they use. Here on the top left, we have our legend. This kit has 49 colors. We have that same legend over here on the bottom right. And then here on the bottom left, we have the thumbnail and all the information about the artwork. Now, copyright, Sarah Richter. That means that Diamond Art Club does something that is super important to me and to many other artists and creators and diamond painters, which is that uh, Sarah Richter has legally licensed this artwork to Diamond Art Club for diamond paintings. So Sarah Richter's not only given permission for the use of her artwork, but she is also being compensated for it. So with art theft being so rampant in the crafting world, I am always eager to support companies that are doing right by artists. Here's info about Diamond Art Club's social media. Definitely give them a follow so you can see previews of new releases each week. And then here's info about their lifetime warranty. Um, as long as you are the original purchaser of the kit, uh, they will take care of you. Whether you run into issues with uh, the canvas, the glue, the diamonds, um, just contact their customer service by email or Facebook Messenger usually works well as well. Um, and they will get you taken care of. So let's take a look at the canvas itself. <laughs> right here in this bottom corner. Can you say color blocking? If you are a fan of color blocking, let me tell you about what I'm already seeing in this kit. So color blocking is where you see we have this big giant section with the same symbol. So you're gonna be able to multi-place to your heart's content if multi-placing is your thing. And you're not gonna have to change the colors in your tray very often. Sections with color blocking like that tend to go much more quickly than sections with confetti. Confetti is areas, I suppose you could say a little bit like what we're seeing in here, where there's lots of color changes. There's not more than a couple of the same color in a row. Um, oh my goodness, her hair. I want her hair. Pink and purple ombre hair. I love it. <laughs> uh, looking at the symbols on the canvas, I am not seeing any that are immediately catching my eye and tripping me up. Um, no, I really do love how Diamond Art Club uh, renders and does Sarah Richter's artwork. She's a somewhat new artist to them and I have a couple of kits that are from her and Diamond Art Club and I think that they just look so striking. So yeah, no, this the canvas is looking great. The symbols are looking really clear as well. Let me flip this. We're gonna do a quick measurement on here make sure that we are about true to size and 
All right. This is a, a bigger one, I feel like. 88. Yep, that's what we should be at. 88 centimeters tall and about 70. Yep, 70 centimeters wide. So that is true to size. That's not, that's really not shocking. <laughs> Diamond Art Clubs kits usually do measure true to size. Let's take a look at these diamonds. Oh my gosh. Like I said, this is a heavy bag of diamonds. And I really have absolutely no idea how I'm going to get these back in there. Somehow I always do. Moment of silence and appreciation is always for this beautiful packing job that I am about to destroy. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, I guess we'll start with this little straggler pack of diamonds. <laughs> kind of some like Mardi Gras vibes almost. All right. Ooh. All right. Let's see how many of this 939 we have. Is that our background color? No, that's 310. What's our 939? Okay. So 939, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 939. That's a deep blue color. The visual quality looks nice. Here we go, 310. Ooh, looks like we had, good thing these are the same color. I was like, looks like this came unsealed. That's okay. 310, we have one, two, three, four, five bags of 310, our background color. Now, you, could, you might be able to tell from looking that these look super shiny, super, super, super shiny. Diamond Art Club did recently uh, begin manufacturing all of their diamonds in-house, and um, their diamonds are now resin, all resin. And I feel like the difference is most easily seen in the old square drills versus the new ones. The new square drills all have 13 facets cut on top. The old square drills had a mix of 13 and nine facets cut on top. The new ones though, they are a lot more uniform in size. There's very little trash. They're just so good to work with. All right, you guys, here is our first AB. Now, like I said, if you're new and not sure what I mean when I say AB, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's referring to that special shiny iridescent coating that you are seeing on the tops of these diamonds. So wherever these have been charted, it's gonna sparkle even more and um, it's gonna draw your eye a bit to those areas and pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around it as well. So that's our first AB. I think we have three, right? Yeah, three total. So that's one, there's some browns. And then here's our second AB, 131. Ooh, look at that, kind of tangerine orange. Love that. And some more purples and beiges. You know, I think, yeah. Okay, so that was actually not the only 310 we had in that kit, in that first strand. So in that first strand, I think I showed you six bags of 310. We have more, <laughs> it's just in a different strand. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bags of 310. That makes more sense to me because so much of this background is 310, which is a black, just a straight black drill. Um, so yeah, lots of bags of that. <laughs> and our last strand here, uh, here we go. Here is our third and final AB, 126. That's a pretty pale lavender. I like that a lot. And we will take a look together at where those ABs have been charted in this kit so you can see where we're gonna get that extra sparkle. Ooh, look at all those pinks and purples. Maybe in her hair. All these shades of pink and red, I love it. All right, and then a couple of pale blues. Okay. The drill quality looks good from what I'm seeing. Now let's take a look together. I wanna to point out where those ABs are going to go. Now, since this is overall a darker kit, where again, so much of the background is that dark color, it makes sense that we're not gonna have oodles and oodles of ABs. But I think what that also means is that the ABs are gonna pop that much more because we have mostly dark colors. So right off the bat here at the tips of her wings on the left and then along the top of her wing, we have the white AB. Ooh, and actually sprinkled all through her feathers, highlighting all through these feathers. The brightest orange you see on both of her wings is gonna be that tangerine orange AB that we saw. A little bit of the white AB kind of accenting in these charms that are hanging. And 
a couple of, where did I just see it? I just saw, there's the orange, there's the white. I swore, I, oh, there it is. I was like, I just saw the pale purple AB. There's a couple in here of that pale purple, a, a little line of it here as well. Some of the white AB here. Is this like a skirt do we think that's like falling over her hips? Some of the white AB highlighting here and then here as well on um, wh whatever she is wearing here on her torso. Um, I love that she's like an aerialist. She's gorgeous. Uh, we have as well some of the white AB highlighting uh, in her hair and on her face as well. Oh, we do have the pale purple AB here through her top as well. I am seeing some of the orange and the white ABs here highlighting on her legs. And then the moon, of course. The moon here has a nice big section of white ABs. Again, where you're seeing the white, it is on her skin, which I tend to be a little eh about ABs on skin tones, but I feel like it's gonna work for the style of this artwork. We have some of the white and purple ABs both in these parts that are hanging. And there's a bit of the orange AB highlighting throughout this hoop, this whole hoop. So like I said, I really do think that that's gonna pop beautifully. Ooh, I just noticed all around the moon, this kind of like aura around the moon is that pale purple AB as well, that lavender AB. Ooh, pretty. Uh, but like I said, I feel like those ABs are gonna pop and be so striking against the overall much darker background. This is all very characteristic of Sarah Richter's artwork and what I've unboxed and shared from her before. And I do, from having seen her kits completed, um, I think that her work translates in such a stunning way to diamond painting and that Diamond Art Club does do her artwork justice. So you guys, to my knowledge, this kit is still in stock as of the time of this filming. It's not marked as limited edition or discontinued, but Diamond Art Club has shared that in general, they're going to be discontinuing um, kits and retiring kits a little bit more quickly now because they are running out of warehouse space because they keep releasing so many amazing new kits and having such a huge selection. So my general suggestion is just that if you see something that you love, I don't know that I would wait on it. <laughs> it's because I think, you know, I would hate for you to miss out if they do decide to discontinue something. But what do you guys think? Again, the name of this piece is Ariel Angel. She is from Sarah Richter and Diamond Art Club. She's a bigger piece, but I think that there's certainly big sections of this will go quickly because there is quite a bit of color blocking in the background. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever. I will link to this kit directly below. I hope that this was helpful, even though it was a bit of a belated sneak peek first look, um, but hopefully it helped you decide if this needs to end up on your wish list or in your shopping cart. Like I mentioned, if you're new and want to save 20% off of your first purchase, I have all that info below you're welcome to use, but as always, no obligation, just find a discount code and take advantage. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. And um, if you're not already subscribed and want to see more diamond painting content from me, I would love to have you be a part of my little community here on the internet. So feel free to subscribe and you can even hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. Thank you so much, my friends. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Bye.